Welcome and say hello to the 2021 Tiguan from Volkswagen. This car right here is the last major launch of this calendar year in the Indian car market and it also tops out VW's promise of four new SUVWs for the country. So the company now has the Tigun, the T-Rock, the Tiguan Allspace and this car right here. I'm Shubhadeep, you're watching HT Auto and we're telling you everything you need to know about this SUV right here. So stay tuned. The 2021 Tigua is a five-seater that will be locally assembled at the company's Aurangabad plant. It is only available now in one fully loaded elegance variant. So what you see here is what you will buy in case you chose to. The updated Tiguan is typically VW from its exterior profile and then some more. The LED matrix headlights for instance are sharper than before. There is a new bumper and a slightly reverbed grille. The alloy design on the 18-inch wheels are fresh and there are 7 colour options. The rear gets new LED lighting and the Tiguan lettering badge in the middle. Opening the boot is a breeze and there is a whole lot of storage space, 615 litres to be precise. Step in and while the new dashboard layout is near similar, there's a new steering wheel which is also seen in the Tiguan complete with the new brand logo. The 8-inch main screen is great and then there is a 10-inch driver display as well. The main infotainment unit is wide, vivid, colourful but attracts fingerprints. The fit and finish of this screen is also not absolutely perfect. There's support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, connected car tech and 3-zone climate control. On that note, a key change is that the physical buttons for air conditioning are now out and in comes a touchscreen. The front two seats get heating functionality which is a blessing in the freezing Delhi winters. The driver's seat can be adjusted electronically and has three memory functions. Unfortunately though, the passenger at the front will have to adjust the seat manually. The leg space for passengers at the rear is decent, there is ample headroom and shoulder room for three passengers shouldn't be a problem either. The hump in the floor bed and the central console jutting back though would create some problems for the leg space for the passenger in the middle of the rear seats. The cabin otherwise is well equipped with ambient lighting, panoramic sunroof and is large and airy for what could be comfortable highway rides. And because I mentioned rides, time to get the Tiguan on the move because the biggest update of all is under the hood. The new Tiguan ditches its diesel motor and in comes a 2.0-litre 4-cylinder petrol motor that produces 190 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. The 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox works flawlessly and delivers power to the 4-wheel through the 4-motion all-wheel drive system. The Tiguan now also gets multiple drive modes as well as terrain options. In sport mode, the Tiguan takes over a completely new outlook and is a breeze to use, especially when you need to get a move on. The suspension setup on the new Tiguan is done nicely, so you hardly feel the speed breakers and bumps on roads regardless of the speed you may be at. There is a slight hum from the engine when you're pushing the Tiguan, but for most parts, this can be ignored. The controls over the NVH level has been paid special attention to. The nicely weighted steering wheel is a pleasure to use but somebody who's already been inside VW vehicles should find this very familiar. Now, the Tiguan has always been for an elite sophisticated group of SUV buyers. This one more so than ever before. Priced at Rs 32 lakhs introductory and ex showroom this one is a pricey proposition. It continues to lock horns against Hyundai Tucson and Jeep Compass, both cars that are priced significantly lower than this one and both cars that also offer a 
diesel engine option. But if refinement is what you're after, then the Tiguan makes perfect sense for you. That's all that we have in this episode. Hope you liked this video and the car. Do let us know your views. But for now, this is me signing out. Stay safe, stay healthy.